welcome everyone once again to love and live God in everyday life. For many people who feel that way, that am I doing injustice to my yeah. master, etc. is uh, what uh, possibly this is what my mind told me that if you are in the second standard and third standard and then you are in the fourth standard and the fifth standard and my class teacher isn't you the move, same. You move on. Yeah. My class teacher is different but my second standard class teacher isn't unhappy that now I've moved on to a different class teacher Absolutely. who is in the seventh and the eighth standard Absolutely. or in the tenth standard Absolutely. and she's extremely happy that I'm growing and that's exactly how I guess is what Baba the is evolution. trying to tell us yeah. that the <laughs> evolve the evolution part is not just about us humanity but I think the avatar himself is also evolving in a sense, with yeah. us in a certain sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because that's how he's choosing different parts of the world to be born in and coming to our level of understanding true, and true. Uh, you know level of consciousness. Okay I'll tell you an anecdote of a lady who was a firm believer of uh, Lord Krishna. And when she got to know about Meher Baba and Meher Baba claiming that I was Ram, I was Krishna, I was this one, I was that one, and now I am Meher Baba, obviously the confusion came and somehow we got into talking and she said, now what do you think I should do? I said, well, the easiest thing is that you have doubts about him. You don't trust him completely, but you do trust Krishna. So why don't you put your application to Krishna and say that here is some chap who says that I am the same as you and see what he has to answer. So she narrates that one fine day she decided that today I must ask. Now important thing is the quality of the answer will depend upon the quality of question. If you question at a superfluous periphery level, your answers would be that. But if you question from the core of your being, from deep down, then there is no way in which he will not answer. So she said one fine day I was praying and I was praying to Krishna obviously and I um, just asked Krishna a very deep down question. If Meher Baba and Krishna is the same, are the same, I want you to tell me or give me a sign or prove it to me now. You know this is how they Not tomorrow, the now, after. now, now. Mm -hmm. okay. And the moment that now took place, there was a ting tong door at there. the door <laughs> and she opened the door and there was a, somebody like a courier or some person some, and he says this is a prasad from Hare Ram Hare Krishna temple and she was shocked and she said but is there any occasion now I don't know somebody sent it and I'm, I was just I've been just asked to give it to you so that sealed the faith, faith to such an extent that now it is only Baba and Baba and Baba Amazing. so most important is that and once that comes then no amount of intellectualization or logic doesn't apply right. that. Then you know deep down it is proven without any reasonable doubt that yes, he is the one. It is absolutely amazing and fascinating to me that every time I hear about these stories or the life of Meher Baba, there is something new that comes up. There is something which I feel, oh, I didn't know this before. There is something that triggers me. There is something that awakens that little something that never was. And so be it with each one of us. May we awaken each day to love and live God in our everyday life. See you tomorrow.